And this is a soft communication skill. You get good at this, folks, you can get good at pretty much selling anybody on anything, whether it's an idea, a product, a service. This is a very important soft skill you must develop. When you are, want to offer a person a criticism, it's better that you get them to say it out of their mouth than you say it out of your mouth. Because again, most people will not hear it when you do that because their ego gets out in front and they feel like they're being attacked. Most people respond that way when they just get something thrown in their face. But instead, if you get them to talk, it changes the whole situation. It changes the entire dynamic of the conversation. I'll give you another example. When I was in college, I remember I was getting recruited to go to the school just before my sophomore year of college. And the coach had, I was, I played some Penn State Abington my freshman year, and I went to Penn State Altoona for my sophomore year. And the coach who recruited me, he had talked to my freshman year coach when he was bringing me in for a visit. So I go in for the visit, and the coach says to me, because at this point he was going to start criticizing, he was going to be critical of me uh, and of my game. He said, what do you think that your previous coach would say about you if he had to offer a critique about you? What's the, like, the worst thing he would say about you, Dre? And at first I tried to act like I didn't know. I said, I don't know. And the coach said, well, if I offered you a million dollars to answer the question, what do you think the coach would say? And then I said, well, the coach would probably say that sometimes I didn't um, practice as hard as I needed to, or sometimes I didn't show enough effort the way that I uh, probably should have. And that's exactly what the coach would have said. And then the coach who I was talking to, he said, yeah, exactly. So when you come here, you can't be doing that. Because right? if you do that when you come here, you're not going to play. You're going to miss out on playing time, et cetera. The point being, he already knew the answer. He knew what the answer was because he had talked to my previous coach and I knew what the previous coach would have said because I was on the damn team. I knew exactly what the coach would have said about me. And instead of him just saying this coach, instead of saying to me, Dre, you have a reputation for you didn't play hard in practice all the time or you didn't go hard the way you're supposed to all the time. And your coach told me, so don't sit here and try to act like it's not true. See, if he would have said that, I would have got defensive because he would have been attacking me. I would It would have felt like an attack. It would have been delivered like an attack. But instead, what did he do? He put the ball in my court and made me say it out of my mouth. So now I can't say you're attacking me because I said it. Uh, who am I, who I'm going to be mad at? So again, this is the same thing you want to do is when you want to criticize somebody, ask them questions and let them tell you because people are not dumb. People know when they're messing up. People know when they're making mistakes. People tend to be pretty aware of their own habits, especially their bad habits. They don't talk about it a lot, but most people know what their bad habits are. So if you just ask questions, people will tell you directly out of their own mouths exactly where they're messing up and what they need to do about it. And this is why, and this is something else I'll give y'all here. It's not even my point here today. You want to get good at selling and you want to get good at building relationships and communicating with people. 